Hello everyone. On this video, I'm going to show you how we've been having numbers in class. The last video was on doubling. This one is on halving. So again, if I picked a hundredths number, I would always make sure that the digit in the ones place is an even number, uh, even digit, because we don't want to get into decimals right now with our grade four numbers right now. So I could pick 754 be the same as before. I can draw my lines. We will end up with an expanded number. So I start my ones place and I say half of four is two. We realize that five is not a five, it's a fifty. Some boys and girls might have trouble having the digits and the place values if they're odd. So if that fifty is causing problems for some boys and girls, I tell them to take ten away, but mark it down. And I ask them what's left of 50, and we take 10 away, and it's 40. And then we have those, and the boys and girls are better with the numbers if they're even. That 4 is even in the 10s place, so we say half of 40 is 20. Half of 10 is 5, so half of 50 has to be 25. So we put 25 here. And it's the same thing with the 700. That will cause some problems with the boys and girls. So... We don't take 10 away, it's in the hundreds place, so we take 100 away. I ask them what's left, it's 600. Half of 600 is 300. Half of 100 is 50, so of course it'll be 3, 350. So we put 350 here, and just like we did with our doubling, we're going to put this back together, and I start in my ones place. I say 2 plus 5 is 7, 20 plus 50 is 70, and then we have our 300 left, so 377 is our answer. Uh, I do tell the boys and girls to remember to use these little tricks here to help them if they have trouble having the numbers, the digits that are odd. So those are little tricks that can help them. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.